This is my 2021 Tesla Model 3 long range dual motor. Unlike the performance version of the Model 3, it does not have track mode. So what if you had one of these cars and you wanted to get a little stylish with your driving, you know, kick the back end loose, do some donuts, some power slides. Well, there's no button inside the cabin that allows you to turn off traction control and stability control. There used to be dyno mode, but as of 2021, it's been nerfed and basically uh, it's now limp mode. You don't get any power in that mode. So the next best thing is to disconnect the wheel speed sensor. Let me show you how. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn the steering wheel all the way to the left so that your left front tire is angled all the way out and then park the car. Here's the connector for the front left wheel speed sensor. Pull it to the left to dislodge it from its attachment clip. Pull this red piece outward and then while pressing down on this black tab, pull on the right half of the connector. Tuck the connectors back into the chassis so that they don't dangle around. When you're done, just do the reverse. Push the two connectors back together and slide it back over its retaining clip. Now you're gonna get this message, steering assist, traction control, regen braking, automatic uh, emergency braking, all that stuff is gonna be gone. And you see that uh, traction control is no longer active. All right, shift into drive. Your steering is gonna become really, really heavy, but uh, that's fine. Punch the throttle while turning to initiate the power slide. You gotta stay on pretty much full throttle to maintain the drift. You don't need to counter steer much because the front motor's torque wants to pull the car straight. You can lower the front tire pressure and raise the rear tire pressure to bias the grip to the front and make the car oversteer a little bit more. Compared to the Model 3 performance, the long range dual motor has the same front sway bar but a thinner rear sway bar, so it's more understeery. I think a stiffer rear sway bar would definitely help this car's handling. Oh, my God. 